Pitchmark has asked me to record how we use QuickTime Player to make uh, student teaching resources. You will see here we have three applications open at the moment. The one in focus is QuickTime Player at Now. I will click on my PowerPoint equivalent, Keynote. That is now in focus and I will quick click on a text file that I have which has my prompts for my uh, teaching resource uh, speaking. That is the text uh, edit application. And you'll notice as each three of the three applications comes into focus, the red, yellow and green is coloured. It's now gone grey in the text edit, but it's bright in the PowerPoint equivalent, which is Keynote. And if I swap to QuickTime Player, we see that QuickTime Player is there at the moment. OK, so let's uh, record, explain how we record in using this medium. When we start QuickTime Player, it offers us, offers us an area of the screen to record. And I choose this bit of the screen, which is the PowerPoint equivalent. From that point on, you can start the recording. Now, so pretending that we are going to record this now and that I have selected over this slide and clicked record, start recording, I would then read from my script which is still visible here and my mouse with a wheel is able to scroll up and down even though it isn't in focus. So this is a short orientation for the module the cardiovascular system for the unit ANHB 5451. The module is presented in two parts and I would read the rest of my script or talk ad hoc. I now wish to change to the next slide and keep recording so I will press the page down button on my keyboard to change the slide and then I will scroll up to read the prompts that I have for this particular slide. Learning outcomes for this module are that, on completion of the module, the student will be able to describe the, role, the main role and functions performed by the cardiovascular system. When I'm ready to move on to the next slide, I will then again place a uh, press page down on the keyboard and it would move to my third slide. And I would be reading from my script. Please take a moment now to revise the terms shown, which are from a previous module, etc., etc. When I finished recording, you'll notice at the top right hand corner there is this stop icon, uh, and I'm going to press that in a moment, and, Kino, uh, and QuickTime will prompt me to save the file and give it a name. That is all there is to it, then you need to give it to Pedgeman or um, have it uploaded to the LMS. Thank you.